In this video, we're looking at the Hemans ultralight backpacking stove found on Amazon. $23, is it worth your money? Hey everyone, it's Kyle from gearhacker.com bringing you some insights on outdoor gear that we think is worth your attention. Today we're looking at the Hamans ultralight backpacking stove. This one can be found on Amazon and we broke it down into four main categories. Price, weight, performance, and functionality. In performance, we look at boil time and fuel usage. And in functionality, we look at, take a look at the whole system from simmer control, its uh, support legs, and ignition. So for the price, you're looking at $19.66 on Amazon. And for the weight, it's 3.5 ounces or 99 grams for the stove only. But it does come with a hard shell case, which adds to the weight and brings you up to 4.1 ounces or 114 grams. Performance wise, the boil time for the Amazon stove wasn't great with a boil time of six minutes and 10 seconds. Um, throughout that time, it did use 16 grams of fuel, which is a bit better than uh, some other stoves we tested, but it took just about twice as long as other stoves. The website does claim that it has 10,000 BTU of power, which is the exact same as the Jetboil Mighty Mo, but uh, unfortunately we think there might be some false advertisement there. So it's just something to keep an eye out for. Functionality wise, the size of this stove is pretty good. It, it packs down nice and small into its uh, included hard shell case. The support arms rotate out. They don't uh, fold up or, or spin out like other, other styles. So you really wanna make sure you get the full rotation and everything's clipped in. During one testing out in the field, somebody didn't have them fully clipped in. And so one side of the support triangle was a bit wider and a pot did tip over. So it's just something to think about. The Hamayans Amazon stove does come with an included piezo lighter, which so far hasn't had any problems. It's worked every time, which is great to see for durability. The simmer control is a bit of a problem. We found you really have to open it quite wide before you hear any fuel coming out. So when you light it, you're at full power and it's kind of alarming. So you want to make sure that you're aware of what happens when you when you put the when you click the piezo lighter. Once you get the stove lit, the dial has a really nice pressure to it and it actually has a really good amount of control. So you can go from full burn to a, a little simmer without uh, losing flame or, or losing control over your, your heat source. So this is the Hamans ultralight backpacking stove off of Amazon. Really good budget backpacking stove. It only costs $20. So if you're just getting into backcountry camping or, or want to try out a canister stoves, it's a really good starting point. It comes with all the bells and whistles. It has the piezo lighter, has a good simmer control. There's a slight bevel for wind protection. So really it has all the technology. It's just the amount of actual performance that you get out of it. The boil time was quite long. So it's something to think about, but you know, you're able to sit outside in nature and enjoy, uh, enjoy the views while you're water boilings. Life's not too bad. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps you pick out a backpacking stove that's worth, that's right for you. Uh, if you want to see a comparative video, check out the one we made. Or if you want to see the long form article, check out the link below. For gearhacker.com, I'm Kyle and we'll see you in the next one.